All right, investors, here we are on uh, Gout Street, Gout Street, not Grout Street, but we are up in Cleveland. This is a duplex. We're on the upper level here. You kind of come in the front door and it's got a, looks like a little closed in porch. <clears throat> All original hardwood floors here. These could definitely be sanded down and they would look pretty nice. You see hardwood floors go throughout. As you come in, this was probably the original living room. Uh, the ceiling in this room is okay. I would say this this property needs needs a new roof. Um, so this room is in pretty good shape. On this property with two units, one meter is still on and active. The other one, um, we talked to the city up here, the power board, and you will have to just pull a permit to get your power turned back on, but I think there's enough work here that pulling a permit is fine. So this is your front bedroom. Again, really cool, old original. I'm going to say pine wood floors. The bedrooms are a good size. This is a good rental area up in Cleveland. Looks like they took part of this porch and turned it into a huge walk-in closet, which is pretty neat. So that's good. This is a three bedroom, one bath downstairs, all original doors. It does have one bathroom. Um, looks like they did some joist repair and just needs some subfloor put down. So I think if it was me, I would probably put in a tub surround, but you might be able to get by with that. I've seen people do it. Um, this is some, some extra storage underneath a uh, the stairway. All right, so here is a dining room, which if you're a real ambitious, maybe you make it another bedroom but, or expand out your kitchen, which is over there. Floors are good here, um, but you can see there's been a couple spots where they've had a water leak. Okay, this is your second bedroom. Again, I'm pretty sure there's pine floors underneath here. They just got this old tile that's, that's uh, yeah, hardwood floors underneath. So those can all be sanded down. All right, up here is a, uh, there's an unfinished attic space. So this is cool, lots of space up here. This is definitely room to add a bathroom if you wanted. So really technically four bedroom, one bath on this level. You know, this room's actually big enough that you could add a second, second bathroom here pretty easily. Kitchen, kitchen does connect back all the way to the front. Certainly very usable wood cabinets if you want. And then in the back here is an old uh, converted porch. You can tell because the floor has just a little bit of a slope to it. And this will be your washer dryer area. So that is the first unit. Let's take a walk around the outside and we'll, we'll get you down to the lower unit. All right, investors, here we are in the downstairs unit. This, this unit you enter from under the carport. It does have an outdoor laundry area. So this one is a little dark, but so good news, concrete floors, which means it's pretty good level. You don't have any issues with that. And I don't think there's any settling issues throughout. Biggest problem has been some water. There's just been water damage. Um, as I was walking around the um, around the outside. It looks like the roof is relatively new. It does have aluminum siding. Here's another entrance out the back because this was probably a, a basement at one point. Um, so big living room, nice heart, hearty, knotty pine. What's the right word? Something, <laughs> pine paneling. Um, kitchen cabinets, you might be able to save these. Um, looks like some of the doors have delaminated, but you could you could certainly replace those if you're looking to do this inexpensively. 
Um, two bedrooms, one bath downstairs. Again, green carpet. And a couple water leaks, so you're gonna have some drywall work to do here, but nothing too extensive. Um, does have a full bath with a shower. I've got better pictures on the website uh, with a flash. And then here is your second bedroom. So this is a big unit. This one here should rent for $650. It um, does have a, a large walk-in closet. So lots of room here. This could be a real cute little apartment. Um, then the upstairs should rent at $850. So I mean, looking at $1,500 in rental income. We're gonna have this property super cheap, um, but you will probably be putting, you know, 25 to 30,000 into it, depending on who does your work and what your scope of work is. So at any rate, give us a call. This is David with Nationwide Property Liquidators. Our number is 423-475-7777. This property is in Cleveland, Tennessee. Thanks.